Hey, Mr. Clash here, War Wednesday, 2.3, check out the score, <laughs> 96 all, so who won this one? Well, let's have a bit of a look at the war result, ready? It is the Sionis, I'm in the Sionis, and 96 to 96, look at the percentage, 94.6 versus 94.43 oh my goodness now i haven't had a look down the bases to see which one could have maybe had made up the extra percentage or anything like that but i uh, got a bit of a treat we're going to have three town hall 11 attacks in this one three three stars three town hall 10s and three town hall nines and hopefully uh, we're not duplicating any attacks. We're just having a good bit of variety in each attacks. So we're not going to see the same thing over and over and over again. Okay, so we are going to see a little bit of variety. But before that, we'll just have a look at the board. Now, this is what uh, Black Bombs did to the Sionis. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> this is what the Sionis did to Black Bombs. Okay, so as you can see, they three-starred. A lot of the Town Hall 11s up there. I think the Town Hall 11s go to, um, yep, go to base 6. So almost one, that was a 98%. So 2% off getting a clean wipe on the Town Hall 11s. Then we come down to the Town Hall 10s. Couldn't quite do as much damage onto the Town Hall 10s, but uh, did a good lot of damage onto the Town Hall 10s. Town Hall 10s go down to base 20 if i'm not mistaken yeah i think they go down to base 20 and then we've got the town hall nines after that and of course you can see of course all of the town hall nines have been cleared and remember this is no dip and this is semi pro this is no dip league and uh, the semi pro division so you, you can't really get you can get much closer than this actually you could be a total draw couldn't you okay now we'll have a look at what uh black bombs did to the sionis Okay, so as you can see, the Town Hall 11s went to base 6, so uh, the Sionis cleared two extra Town Hall 11s, so the difference must have been in the Town Hall 10s. Yes, assume that all the Town Hall 9s have been cleared, of course they have, so the difference we're looking at is in Town Hall 10, 3 stars, Black Bombs were able to 3 star more Town Hall 10s, then the Sionis were able to 3 star the other way around, but of course the Town Hall 11s made up the difference, so they made up they caught up those stars. Let's just say they caught those stars up. And as you can see, yep, there we go. Uh, everything three starred there. So what we're going to do is have a look at three Town Hall 11 attacks, three Town Hall 10 attacks, three Town Hall 9 attacks. I have no idea how many times each base was hit. Uh, all I'm concerned about is can we learn something from the attacks? And of course, I'm in the Sionis, so I'm going to be favoring the Sionis. Uh, like I said, all we're learning about is, my main goal is to share extra information on uh, good attack strategies. So we're going to have a look at number one here. Uh, oh, look, before I do that, look, you can see the attacker there, Luck. Uh, six packs, six packs for the war. We've got Luck, Will 2, Benny Fly, Junkyard Dog, must be a... Uh, possibly a wrestling fan, Junkyard Dog, Zombie and Manish, although I'm not a wrestling fan, but I know Junkyard Dog is the wrestler. Anyway, let's get into this. Waffling too much, let's get into the attack. Uh, something very interesting about this deck, it looks like it's going to be a queen walk, something, a rather. Uh, normally you would often be seeing that at Town Hall 11 where you see that bowlers with healers at each side and the heroes come into the middle but this is a uh, queen walk version of that i guess you could say and a lot of stuff does start with queen walk queen walk healers and grand warden now i have seen a couple of times at town hall 11 when the grand warden comes down the healers have switched to the grand warden and basically left the queen in the lurch so uh, the idea was try and get the queen down get things shooting at her with the healer on it then get the grand warden down okay so now well we've got a little bit of witch and bowler action coming down on that top part to uh, get rid of the storage now look at that funnel the way that funnel was created and then that little wall stuck out to make sure 
that um, nothing could path away. I just wanted to speed that up a little bit so we didn't want to spend a minute looking at a queen walk. Okay, so the queen, everything's in the core. We've got the second jump spell down. That's going to give access to both Inferno Towers. And that doesn't mean direct access to both Inferno Towers. It means you get close to be able to take out both Inferno Towers. So if you take that jump spell, you can, of course, double bounce into one Inferno Tower, double bounce into another Inferno Tower, or decide to just go running around in the moat, uh, which is what you can see there at the moment. Now, bowlers are now cracking on the wall, or they started to crack on the wall instead. Uh, which was rather interesting because they were able to actually take that second jump and possibly come over to that Inferno Tower, but they started to break that wall. But uh, they're all taken out now. So you've just got the Grand Warden, Queen's ability still not used, uh, a couple of Black Bombs, Air Skellies, things like that. Grand Warden will take care of those. We'll just speed this up. We've got nine attacks to go through, so uh, we'll try to speed it up as, as much as I can. And... Uh, well, wow, this was a very, very close war in the end and uh, quite enjoyable looking at uh, the variety of attacks that came out. So uh, there wasn't, I would not say that there was probably a single dominant attack. Yeah, you know, Obviously at Town Hall 9 we're talking about witches. So let's head over to Town Hall 11 attack now. Uh, now this one, yep, okay, dibs. Now I like the troop combo on this. Um, six giants 11 witches 16 bowlers and two archers it kind of reminds me a little bit of a uh, town hall nine bow witch attack though instead of uh, bowlers you might have had some wizards or something like that and you look at this it's a uh, two minute wipeout of the base so giants down for distraction that way you get your witches down without getting shot at and then the bowlers coming down behind that and uh, of course the clan castle is triggered uh, the clan castle of course the eagle artillery has been triggered a couple jump spells there's one more jump spell left a lot of spells devoted to mobility through the base but uh, you may have heard me say before it seems to be key at town 11 is uh, the mobility through the base so getting the three jump spells down so that you can actually move through the base with ease instead of standing there bashing against a wall getting taken out by very high powered weapons uh, infernos and uh, other Expos and things like that for Expos really takes their toll. So we could just speed that up a little bit so that we can, uh, as as the troops diminish, things start taking a little bit longer to get down. But we can uh, look at it at double speed so you can still see how it's all taking place. So we've still got a couple of archers or got the archer Tesla. A couple of archers, one more arch. Yeah, two archers up. There goes one. Queen's ability still not used. Again, uh, second attack. Queen's ability not really needed to be used until uh, towards the end at, at Town Hall 11. So Queen's shooting some walls. <laughs> she loves the walls. And uh, too many troops basically for that last archer to overcome. And that's it. I'll leave the troops up on the board if you want to, if you're a Town Hall 11 and you're looking for a little bit of a strategy or a troop combo to use, do there's a little combo for you to use. So we'll move on from that one. Have a look at now a different Town Hall 11 attack, we're going down to uh, base 6, which was the last Town Hall 11. And so on the first one we had that Queen Walk uh, Bowler Witch sort of uh, combo. And now we've got a Maloon attack coming in at Town Hall 11. So got a little bit of variety, trying to get some variety, bit of ground, bit of air. Nice test wall breaker, triggered on the cannon. Cannon's uh, not going to be quick enough to take out the rest of the wall breakers. And so here we go. Nice little funnel to get the bowlers in. Uh, they all could have wandered, but uh, they decided not to. They stuck They stuck with it and went inside. And so once that air defense is down, we've got three air defenses here on the other side of the Eagle Artillery. Expos, all three Expos on this side. So there's a lot of DPS still to deal with on that other side of the base for an air attack, at least anyway. A um, couple of cannons down below. They're not going to hurt the air attack, but... Still got the Infernos. The Infernos haven't been taken out. The Queen's shooting a wall. She could come down here and help out, but um, she's decided, no, she'd rather shoot a wall because she likes shooting walls. It's her favourite target, of course. And, of course, that's it. That's the end of her. Walls are done. We've got a minute and a half left, and here comes the air portion of the attack now. So Lava Hound's coming in. Eagle Artillery has triggered. Balloon's coming in. Hay spells. Hay spells, hay spells, hay spells. There's four more hay spells still to deploy, so... Uh, that this gets everything through the base a lot quicker, obviously, uh, where the rage spell might not have been needed, 
And if you'd use the rage spell, of course, it's only in one plot. You get two haste spell for one rage spell. So still have the uh, last Inferno Tower to go down. One more haste spell ready to use. And we'll just see how that gets used. Plenty of pups. Town Hall is going to go down. Tesla on the right hand side will go down. There's the haste. The haste spell's been used. All the balloons spit, split nicely. <laughs> they didn't spit, they split. And uh, the arch tower, last arch tower will go down very nicely. I'm getting tongue tied trying to speak so fast. Got a lot to get through, so that's why. So we'll just speed up the clean up a little bit so that uh, you can see that it was a three star. You already know it was a three star. I showed you that it was a three star but just to see how that happened. And there we go. So that is the Town Hall 11 three stars on those bases. Now we'll move on to the Town Hall 10. It's going to show you a few different attacks at Town Hall 10 as well. Uh, so that there's a, a good variety of Town Hall 10 attacks that you can, if you're a Town Hall 10 person, that you can uh, file away in your kit. Now, just before this one goes on, I'll uh, I'll just pause that for a second. We're looking at a minute and 37 on this one. Uh, you can just see it, one, single golem, seven witches, I think that was, and 11 bowlers. Take note of the troop combo and uh, get ready to make this up and use it for yourself. Obviously, there are two archers and a minion, but you didn't need to bring that. Now, uh, pay attention. I'll, well, I'll talk you through as this goes. We've got the single golem, line of witches, line of bowlers. That's all looking pretty good. CC bowlers out of the middle and now the healers at each flank. So everything's going to path into the middle. And of course, as we all know by now, and if we don't know, uh, if you can double jump to get into a position that when you were in that position, you can take out both Inferno Towers, as you can see here, once you're over into this other side, you, the Queen can reach over and take that second Inferno Tower out. If you can do that, then this is a very good strategy to take out a Town Hall 10 base. Uh, obviously, if you can't do that, you can still use this strategy to get a good 2% or 2 star, and possibly sometimes it may even work its way magically up to a 3 star. But in terms of ideal base, in terms of base selection for this style of attack, any double jump to get access to two Inferno Towers, then this Bay, this troop combo, any kind of bow witch, which is what this is, or something like like it. You don't have to have healers. It doesn't have to have healers. It might have extra golem or something like that. All sorts of different combos on the bow witch. If you can double jump to get access to two infernos, then it's certainly an option to consider, or at least try. Have someone try it, and then if that doesn't work, you can go on to something else. Okay, so now we're going to have a look at base 13 getting attacked. Now, in this one, it is a Lalo. Now, of course, I've just said about the double jump. You could obviously jump into here and then jump in the middle. That gives you access to both. So this is certainly a base that you may want to try, but um, you don't have to try it, of course, but you may want to. Maybe it's been tried, but you can see that with the outside air defense, that's another good sign that just says, you know, outside air defense, I can sui lalo this. Obviously, a cleanup attack, because you're not going to do a sui lalo on a base if you don't know what's in the clan castle. The, like one of the worst things that you could probably do is do a sui lalo on the base and you find there's three baby dragons in the clan castle and you haven't brought a single poison. So, obviously, if you know there's a, uh, a, hound in the clan castle then you can do a sui lalo which is what this attack is where you're just sacrificing the heroes to get a, a couple of air defenses down and that's it now that the lava hound is out not going to do anything else uh, air defenses are down queen's still up in the middle plenty of haste spells raid spells skelly spell ready for dropping onto the queen uh, when the time is right Rage spell and skelly spell. There we go. The skelly spell has been dropped onto the queen, catching the edge of the rage. And so the raged skellies will try and take out the queen. They didn't quite get her uh, by a long shot is what they didn't get her by. But um, this was still a three star attack. Now, watch how the queen actually does go down in, in this case. So we're going to see that the hounds don't pop until the end, but too late. 
the queen's right under it by then and balloon drop and that's it she goes down so if you've got enough balloons if you've got enough lava hounds and that rage spell as well the queen will go down so Sui Lalo, if you know there's a Lava Hound in the clan castle, Lava Hound can really hold up a queen during a, a different ground attack. So if you know there's a Lava Hound, think of a Sui Lalo if you can do one. Now we're going to have a look at, we'll have a look at the bottom Town Hall 10, the three star, which is uh, base 20, because it's a little bit of a different attack here. Okay, now yes, straight off the bat, uh, the base isn't fully maxed, being uh, number 20 on the war map. So we'll acknowledge that Expos are not fully maxed. Uh, we've got Cannons here. We've got Inferno Tower. I don't, don't think they're, they're fully maxed. But um, look, it's not really going to matter too much. There's only two minutes left in the attack. You've got 11 Lava Hounds. Queen, Queen Walk, Queen Walk Lalo. Obviously, you can have a look at a... Uh, Wall breaker is going to break a hole in the wall. So a good wall breaker placement to get onto that junction. And a very good value for the queen in this one. Takes out the queen, takes out uh, expo. Two expos are now down. Cannons down, so that, that assists with the pathing. Takes out the CC and an extra air defense. So now there's only three air defenses. In comes the balloon portion. Lava Hound followed immediately by the balloons. And again, we're seeing the haste spells. Loads of haste spells getting used to speed the balloons up around the place instead of rage spells. So that's something to consider in the uh, Lalo attacks that you might want to do. Even with the Penta. Uh, obviously, I don't have one up my sleeve at the moment. But uh, yeah, have seen a seven haste spell attack at Town Hall 10. It's... <laughs> It was really quite interesting to watch all the haste spells just getting plonked down and everything just whizzing around so fast. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the Town Hall 9 attacks. And again, I'd like to show you something a little bit different, uh, something that you can possibly do. So we're going to start off with base 24. Now it is a Lalo attack, but um, what I like about it is... I'll just pause that for a second. Have a look at the spell combos. So when I first saw this attack, I looked at the troop combos and I was like, wow, okay. So we've got some interesting skelly spells <laughs> going on there. It's a lot of skelly spells with no poison spells. I wonder what's going on here. So let's just have a look at what's going on here. So we're going to have the uh, rage spell and skelly spells taking out the CC. That's what's going on here. We've got the Dominion drop first. Going to try and take out that army camp. There we go. Raid spell and look at all the skelly spells go and watch how quick that CC falls. It didn't matter that it was in the middle. CC's down. It doesn't matter what's in the CC now. All air defenses are in the core. So now we've, we're opened up, ready to do the balloon portion. Got a uh, Nothing's in range of those wizards. So obviously the wizards can take all the trash out pretty nicely. Get a golem down, get a wall breaker in. Now the king and queen have access to the enemy queen. And they'll go down. The queen should be able to take out this air defense as well. Uh, hopefully, once the king gets a little bit of a rage going, probably get that rage. There we go. Rage up. Unfortunately, the uh, barbs take a little bit of damage from when the bomb tower goes off. But raged up king. Queen will shoot a few things. Eventually, she'll get through to the air defense there. I, I assume she will. She's getting shot a lot. Uh, but it might not really matter. There's three more, three haste spells to come in on this attack. So good balloon dropping, very targeted balloon dropping. So uh, trying to get them, uh, not rely, not spreading the balloons is what I mean. So when I'm saying targeted, yes, they're pinpointed onto the wizard, but not left, not left and right to each other, like in a single file is what I'm trying to make mean. One more haste spell to go, one more air defense to go down. We've got uh, the balloon just dropped on that troll tester on the left and hay spells are all down. Wizard, one wizard to go. Uh, that sometimes is that sort of that panicky area where the balloons are pathing away from a wizard and a wizard's just coming over, just knocking the health out of your balloons and you start to panic a little bit. Go, oh my goodness, my balloons are just getting pummeled. But um, yeah, so once this ends, just remember if you can... 
do the skelly spell cc trick it doesn't matter what's in the cc uh, if the cc goes down you didn't need to lure it it's a big spell use obviously there's one rage and five skelly spells used in that so it's a seven spell attack on the cc so yeah it's a big uh big deployment of spells from the cc but as long as you can also take out the queen in a different way that's okay so here we go we've got a nice little hog attack going on here or oh, i just spilled the beans haven't i i've told you it's a hog attack but what i liked about this is to help create the funnel how a giant and hog was used down on this archer tower so that there would be no archer tower here to take out the wizards while the wizards were trying to help create the funnel at this end of the base uh, while there was no real threat of anything from like the wizard tower is not going to get them while they're creating the funnel on this side of the base so plenty of wizards have gone down 20 hogs left up the sleeve a couple of minions heroes down queens down jump spells already down ready to get access to the enemy queen we'll just speed this up a little bit uh, like i said it's a hog attack so it is a hog attack so it's good to see cc hogs getting used in a hog attack you don't have to use bowlers all the time you can just use cc hogs and here comes a whole heap of cc hogs bit of a bomb there at the moment uh queen should take out this expo so all the hogs will path around now you've heard me talking about that sort of shape that goes around the base when you can take out a whole quadrant of the base and that's what this initial push into the base did uh, and that just meant you could then have very predictable hog pathing for the rest of the base not totally 100 percent predictable but it didn't have to be 100 percent it just had to be good enough and here it was good enough plenty of hogs left and <laughs> plenty of hogs just went flying then of course but um, queens up hogs up and end of the base so we're just waiting for a little bit of cleanup and then we're going to have a look at one more one more attack so we're having a good lot of attacks in this recap nine attacks three ten elevens three tens and three nines so there's the troop combination for your interest for your viewing pleasure for your experimental pleasure if you want to experiment with those troops yourself and now we'll pop down to have a look at the attack on base 34 from junkyard dog i hope i've got the right base okay yes i have okay so this is uh you'll be familiar with the attack that i have up on the channel which is the uh, queen walk king walk uh varbo or bova attack uh, where i talked about it being uh, quite resembling the uh, nato strike attack that we uh, had in the original forums versus reddit scrim war that came out of that one as well of course that's where the uh, witch slap originated uh, out of that well it didn't originate but that's when it really came to light out of that war so valkyrie's coming down queen has come down so the king and the queen will path into the middle that means the healers will be coming in there as well obviously these air defenses might take out a few healers but uh, with any luck the healers will last to the end again we've got a lava hand in the clan castle so when you see that bowler sort of valkyrie combo or when you, if you're using that combo and it's a fresh hit and you've got the lava hand in the clan castle it's almost like yeah i think that's great so you've got the hogs coming here on the left hand side so they these weapons on the left won't be taking out any valkyries or anything like that the hogs are taking care of those so the hogs have done their job uh skelly spells being dropped on the other expo over there to add a little bit of extra distraction for uh the troops over there which we're going to take it out now the king's decided he's going to bash a wall over here queen's walking around the outside so it looked like she wanted to go in but then she's changed her mind bowlers valkyries pathing around and you just look at that lava hand lava hand is totally useless at this point there, there's nothing there that can shoot up at the lava hand and the lava hands little lava bombs are just way too weak to do any kind of threat damage to the valkyries and the queen on the right hand side taking out the arch tower and it's just a few more seconds and that's it this base is finished so once once we've uh, finished this attack we'll go and have a look at the statistics of the war and then that will be it for this war recap very close war in the semi-pro division of the no dip league
Okay, let's have a look at the war statistics. Of course, that was the Sioni's versus the Black Bombs. All right, war statistics, 70 attacks used. So that both sides used all of their attacks, 69-1. I'm assuming we've got some scouts. Six lost, definitely, that would uh, indicate some scouts there. Well, to me, it would. Uh, no attacks remaining. 26 three stars, obviously. These statistics are all going to be the same, as will be new stars per attack. And the destruction, average destruction percentage, 94.6 versus 94.4 rounded. Uh, so yeah, that's very, very quick. And um, the average attack duration, very similar, only 10 seconds within it. So like I said, I didn't uh, click on all of these Town Hall 10s and 11s and add up the percentages to see, you know, were there a few 99% and things like that. Um, just to know that it was a very close war. So well done to the Sionis. Uh, bad luck to Black Bombs. Not quite being able to get it, that extra percentage. I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of chat going back in that clan saying, oh, if only we did this, if only we did that, we could have, we could have. And of course, both clans would be doing that. Oh, well, maybe if we'd done this, we could have got the extra star here, there, or somewhere else. So that is it. Massive war recap. Three town 11s, three town 10s, three town 9 attacks. Uh, I would recommend watching this again. Uh, just to get the troop combos and things for the different town hall levels, uh, share it with your clan mates as well, so you 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 can see. Hey, I haven't tried this town hall eleven attack. I haven't tried this town hall ten attack. Hey, that looks an interesting combo. This is an interesting way to kill the CC at town hall nine, and so on and so forth. And uh, it's kind of like a little, I don't know. It's like a, a little lesson in, in various clash attacking all in one video. So uh, do share this with your clan mates as well so they can all be conversant with it. So thanks for sticking around to the end. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video.